In this video, we'll give instructions for using the iron sphincter. This one is the Perceva brand HSC86-6A for making terminals using ferrules like these to have a result like this that's compatible with terminals like this one and these DIN terminals and these screw terminals. This crimper has a fascinating closing action and that makes it compatible with multiple sizes of ferrules. It's really important to know your wire gauge. In this case, we're using 18 gauge wire. We'll use the red colored terminal. 18 gauge stranded wire works for most power delivery on our mechatronics projects. You can use a beefy 16 gauge wire like this one if you want to have your terminal rejected by most of the common off the shelf screw terminals. You can use this wimpy 22 gauge wire if you want to carry very little current and for an application where you might as well use signal wires. Start by stripping at least 10 millimeters of insulation off of your wire. Notice that you're stripping actually a little bit more than the exposed metal part of the terminal. Twist the wire up and feed it into the ferrule. You should be able to see the copper very close to the edge or maybe even protruding. I like to hold the wire vertical and then feed the terminal into the crimper. Make sure it's slid in all the way and squeeze. You can double crimp it and I think sometimes that will compress the regions that didn't get quite compressed. Then do the tug test. Make sure it doesn't slide out. Here's a tip that can help with safety. You'll notice when you feed the terminal all the way in until it stops inside of a screw terminal, you have a little bit of conductor still exposed. So that means you have room to take maybe one notch off of these segments. You can use flush cutters to make this trim, or you might find a tool that's more round and helps retain the shape of the end. Now when I feed the crimped ferrule into my terminal, it slides almost all the way back so the conductor is not showing. The last step is to, to screw down this screw. Please make sure you're using the right size of screwdriver. This one's a P0 or P1 will work for this type of terminal. And you can do one more tug test. It won't pull out, so we're good. My last tip for crimping these ferrules is that if you don't know your wire gauge, Find the terminal that fits, and then make an attempt to go one step smaller and one step smaller until you can't actually fit the conductor into here. Your conductor is usually smaller than you think when you compare side by side this ferrule diameter and the wire itself, and they really squeeze nicely into a small housing. Once you've mastered using the iron sphincter, you can get away with a whole lot less soldering so you don't need to tin the ends of your wires and you can use this type of ferrule instead.